thieves. This time they broke into Picky's kitchen and bar overnight, actually crawling on the floor, trying to avoid the cameras there. Uh, doorbell cameras let you see your visitors more clearly, but as one family in California found out, there are some things that just cannot be unseen. Imagine getting trapped after breaking into a store, like a rat in a cage with no escape, leaving police with a simple arrest. We've heard of clever criminals covering tracks, but some are just plain dumb. Thanks to technology, we see their silly antics. Join us as we show you 15 of the dumbest criminals who were caught on camera. Number 15, the ATM thief. Have you ever considered the idea of stealing an ATM? If you have, then you should definitely take lessons from this burglary. It all takes place in Townsville, Queensland, Australia, home to what might be the most incompetent criminal mastermind of all time. Whatever he does, you should 100% avoid. This aspiring robber hatched what he believed to be a brilliant plan. He would use a chain attached to his stolen pickup truck, smash through the front door of a convenience store, chain the ATM, and speed off into the night with the cash machine in tow. Full of confidence, he drove up to the station and revved his engine, ready to put his scheme into action. With a devilish grin, he crashed through the glass front door with a sledgehammer. Success. He crawled inside and attached a long metal chain to the ATM. But in his haste, he didn't realize the chain had come uncoupled from his getaway truck. Oblivious, he jumped back in the white truck and hit the gas, expecting to rip the ATM out of the store. But nothing happened. The truck sped off without the ATM, leaving our criminal scratching his head. Realizing his mistake, this persistent robber devised a plan B, he would simply return to the scene of the crime, reattach the chain, and try again. A few minutes later, he pulled up to the busted shop once more, chain in hand, ready to rectify his earlier blunder. But as he tried to reconnect the chain, he noticed it was now too short to reach the truck. Foiled again! Deciding this whole botched ATM heist was too much hassle, he sped off into the night empty-handed. While this robber gets points for boldness and persistence, his sloppy execution proves good plans mean nothing without careful attention to detail. He may fancy himself a criminal mastermind, but perhaps a career requiring fewer complex steps is better suited to his skills. For now, thanks to the sheer ineptitude of this wannabe bandit, the ATMs of Queensland remain safe and sound. Number 14. The Jailbreak Fans of epic prison escapes like the Shawshank Redemption may dream of slick jailbreaks, but as one bungling inmate in Brazil learned, real-life botched breakouts can be far more humiliating. Imagine trying to escape prison, only to end up begging the guards to save you as firefighters are called for a rescue operation. That's exactly the crazy scenario this hapless prisoner found himself in. The trouble began when this brazen prisoner attempted to squeeze through the tiny food slot in his cell door. He likely envisioned himself vanishing into the night like a master escape artist. Instead, he ended up hilariously stuck halfway, unable to slide forward or back out of the narrow opening. His body contorted in the slot like a cork in a wine bottle, refusing to budge in either direction. Panicked, the inmate began crying and screaming in frustration, his dream of freedom cruelly close, yet impossible to reach. The guards could only laugh at his undignified predicament. After futilely trying to grease him up and dislodge him, firefighters had to be called in for an absurd rescue operation. They finally freed the flailing prisoner using power tools in a scene reminiscent of Winnie the Pooh getting his head stuck in a honey jar. This bumbling breakout attempt gained only viral mockery for the trapped trickster. He succeeded only in creating a scene with a cold cell door trapping him in humiliating fashion. Compare this to elegant Hollywood escapes like Shawshank and the difference is stark. Smooth, criminal genius this was not. But the prisoner's hilarious haplessness provides a valuable lesson. The average jailbreak is more farce than finesse. In the end, the only cracks in his plan were his ego and body. But at least the lingering laughter at his expense will remind others that most breakout attempts end in embarrassment, not liberation. Number 13. Doorbell Liquor Using locks may deter some thieves, but technology like video doorbells is even better at catching creepy culprits red-handed. Just ask the Salinas, California family whose doorbell got a three-hour tongue bath from a peculiar prowler on New Year's Eve. 
The sordid scene played out like this. With the parents away, the brazen liquor man showed up at the family's home where only the children were present. He proceeded to lavish the doorbell with hours of inexplicable oral affection. All the while, the family's security camera recorded the bizarre event in crystal clear detail. When the homeowners reviewed the footage, they were greeted by the chilling sight of this man lapping away at their doorbell for 180 unbelievable minutes. Brief breaks punctuated his three-hour lick fest, but he always returned for more, all the while making unsettling eye contact with the camera. The family quickly called the police, who identified the suspect as Roberto Daniel Arroyo. But his motive for this odd obsession remains a mystery. All we know is this determined liquor would not be deterred from satisfying his strange fixation, much to the homeowner's horror. This outlandish incident raises so many questions. Why target this home? Why this particular doorbell? And how did he lick for so long without stopping? But while the why behind this creepy criminal's actions eludes us, the how proves that cameras provide peace of mind. Even when owners are away, cameras allow them to monitor suspicious activity and alert authorities. Had this family lacked surveillance, the brazen liquor might have carried on all night undisturbed. Number 12. $11 Heist Talk about going big game hunting and coming home with meager rations. One hapless hunter in Pennsylvania found himself bagging only $11 after holding up a taxi driver at gunpoint. Not exactly the jackpot score he was hoping for. 18-year-old Victor Martinez Herrera hopped in a cab wielding a firearm, envisioning himself the next big outlaw in town. He boldly aimed his gun, demanding cash from poor driver Ralph Valletta, threatening him in cliché villain fashion, hand it over if you don't want to die. But unfortunately for this wannabe robber baron, Valletta had just started his shift and could offer only a measly $11 from his wallet. Despite repeated threats, the paltry sum was all Martinez Herrera would get on this botched cash grab. Talk about an anticlimactic haul. Our criminal mastermind had to settle for lunch money, hardly enough to retire in paradise. A camera captured the entire disappointing robbery, including the thief's contradictory, I won't hurt you, please, even while keeping the gun trained on his victim. But this small-time crook wouldn't get to enjoy his inadequate earnings for long. Karma came calling as a police vehicle happened to be behind them for the whole time, forcing Martinez Herrera's prompt surrender. His short-lived $11 victory ended in handcuffs without resistance. Later in court, a regretful Martinez Herrera apologized, blaming impaired judgment. But the damage was done. Thanks to his woefully unprofitable crime, he now faces five to ten years behind bars. Quite the disproportionate trade-off, Years of freedom swapped for a mere 11 bucks. This comedic tale of petty theft gone wrong reminds us that crime seldom pays, no matter how threatening the means. Martinez Herrera sure wishes he could take back this laughably unbalanced crime. Number 11. Trapped in Shop Trapped like a fly in a spider web, the robber John Bell found himself stuck in a Houston cell phone store turned prison. This hapless criminal barged in expecting easy cash, only to end up caught in his own web of botched plans. In 2017, Bell casually strolled into a Latino cell store wielding a gun, demanding the staff empty the registers. But the quick-thinking clerk Karina Leon and the owner's wife remained calm, hatching a sly escape. While Bell crowed over his perceived victory, they unlocked a side door and slipped out with a customer, locking the oblivious Bell inside. Suddenly, the triumphant robber was alone, trapped in his latest prison. Security footage captured Bell pathetically throwing himself against the sturdy doors and firing his gun unsuccessfully to break the lock. Growing more frantic, he pleaded with puzzled passers-by to free him, but they simply walked on by. About six minutes in, a defeated Bell put his hands up, realizing his defeat was imminent. Mere minutes later, police arrived and easily apprehended the trapped criminal. His attempted robbery was thwarted thanks to the intelligent hostages, who simply let Bell ensnare himself. Turns out this was not Bell's first robbery. He was already on probation for a previous case. But this time, the quick-thinking staff at Latino Cell locked up the crook in his own makeshift prison. 
Bell ended up experiencing firsthand the confinement he intended at gunpoint for the staff. A strange twist of karmic fate indeed. Bell was sentenced to five years in prison for the bungled burglary attempt. He was only master of his own undoing, trapped by his reckless disregard. A victim of his own vices. Number 10. Pizza Joint Heist If you think breaking into a pizza joint will be as slick as casing the Bellagio in Ocean's Eleven, get ready for some laughs. As these bumbling burglars learned, real-life heists can be far more fumbling than flawless. Security cameras tracked their every move as they hatched a laughably haphazard plan to rob a local pizza store. Convinced they had the perfect score lined up, these wannabe Danny Oceans were oblivious to the recorded evidence being gathered. Thinking themselves criminal masterminds, they oh-so-stealthily army-crawled their way inside to avoid censors. Once in, they quickly located the safe and feverishly worked to crack it open, already envisioning the riches within. But the real riches were the comedy of errors caught on camera. They clumsily wielded crowbars to smash their way through windows and dutifully smashed an empty safe, their bumbling crime quickly going off script. To their dismay, the pride open safe only contained one item, their own dim-witted reflections staring back at them. The decoy had fooled its fair share of fools before these flailing felons. Undeterred, they looted what they could, some spare tools and electronics, before slipping back into the night, oblivious to the business owner already sharing the footage with police. The end result of these criminal misadventures? No cash scored, just viral mockery earned. The pizza store's decoy tricked the overconfident robbers into exposing their bumbling methods for all to see. So, for any would-be thieves plotting an epic heist, don't be like these guys. Do your homework and recognize that real crime requires more than bravado and a crowbar. And never assume you aren't being recorded. As these viral villains learned the hard way, cameras are always rolling. Their comedic caper may have lacked sophistication, but it made for prime entertainment at their expense. Sometimes the greatest heist is the theft of dignity when best-laid plans go hilariously astray. Number 9. Insurance Fraud Gone Wrong This New Jersey contractor's acting skills were worthy of an Oscar, but his performance landed him in legal trouble instead of Hollywood glory. Alexander Goldinsky staged an elaborate fake slip and fall in hopes of scoring an insurance payout, only to have the curtain fall on his illegal scheme. Surveillance cameras captured the series of events at a Woodbridge, New Jersey business where Goldinsky was working as a contractor. He deliberately tossed ice cubes onto the floor and proceeded to meticulously fake a hard fall. The video shows him gingerly lying down while holding the counter, clearly uninjured. Despite showing no signs of real injury, Goldinsky still called an ambulance and filed claims for medical costs, hoping to profit from his theatrics. He likely patted himself on the back for his clever act. But his performance fooled no one when authorities reviewed the footage. Turns out fake insurance claims are not as easy as they might seem. Goldinsky's brazen insurance scam was met with handcuffs, not riches. Prosecutors hit him with multiple fraud charges for the audacious deception. Facing irrefutable video evidence, Goldinsky pleaded guilty to third-degree insurance fraud. He received two years probation, community service, restitution fees, and the closure of his business. A high price just to illegally collect on fictional injuries. This failed scheme underscores that insurance fraud is no victimless crime. Such scams raise premiums for everyday citizens, so prosecutors are cracking down hard on flimsy claims. For Goldinsky, jail time was dodged, but his reputation lies in ruins. In the end, honest hard work proved better than selling falsehoods for profit. Goldinsky's acting may have been Oscar-worthy, but his ethics earned a resounding thumbs down. Number 8. Wrong Selfie when it comes to stupid decisions, look no further than Rodney Knight Jr. This 19-year-old burglar pulled off what he thought was the perfect heist, only to hilariously incriminate himself in the process. After breaking into a journalist's home, Knight made off with two laptops, $400 in cash, and a stylish winter coat, seemingly smooth sailing. But he just couldn't resist snapping a photo of himself posing arrogantly with the stolen stylish winter coat. In a moment of sheer stupidity, Knight posted the incriminating photo not to his own account, 
but to the Facebook page of the victim's son, whose laptop he had nabbed. So rather than bragging to friends, Knight unwittingly provided the evidence that would lead to his speedy downfall. Knight's smug mugshot was soon spotted by the son's friends, who swiftly contacted authorities. Thanks to his own foolish social media vanity, police apprehended Knight rapidly. He was hit with multiple charges for the bungled burglary. Posting criminal exploits online is bold. Posting them directly in the victim's account is pure dimwit. Knight learned this lesson the hard way when showboating trumped common sense. His narcissistic need for attention overrode basic caution and landed Knight behind bars, a high price just for foolishly desiring social media glory. No honor among thieves, more like no brains. So everyone, take note. Flashy social media vanity and crime don't mix well. Play video games instead if you crave cheap thrills without real jail time. And if you simply must pose with your stolen goods, at least double-check which account you're posting to first. Number 7. Marker Bandits When prepping for a heist, the disguise is key. The squad in Money Heist became icons with their distinctive red jumpsuits and Salvador Dali masks. But as two Iowa men learned, reaching for permanent markers instead of proper masks can make you a joke rather than a master criminal. Their crude ink disguises landed them viral ridicule rather than successful robbery. The duo of Joey Miller and Matthew McNelly devised what they thought was a clever plan to confront the man they believed was having an affair. They would break into his apartment and confront him looking like comic book villains. But rather than traditional masks or bandanas, they opted for a permanent marker makeover. McNelly drew cryptic squiggles across his face, while Miller gave himself a self-proclaimed full ink mask and beard. A disguise is sure to intimidate, or so they thought. In reality, the crude marker faces simply made them look foolish. When police arrived on reports of a pending break-in by two ink-faced men, they could barely contain their laughter at the attempted disguises. The officers remarked that they had seen many things, but never a burglary attempt with makeshift marker masks. McNelly and Miller's viral mugshots paid the price for their foolish choice of disguise. Rather than fearsome criminals, the internet saw them only as humorous memes. A permanent marker cannot mask stupidity. The moral? Disguises for illegal misadventures require more effort than DIY marker art. Had they invested in proper masks, the outcome may have been different. Instead, these bumbling burglars will now forever be mocked for their absurd marker faces. Whatever you do, just don't replicate this duo. Stick to classic disguises over amateur marker creations. The only thing getting robbed here was these criminals' free life. The Internet's mocking laughter awaits anyone who thinks a permanent marker is enough to pull off the perfect crime. Number 6. The Snoring Thief Sleeping on the job is never advisable, but for burglars, it can spell disaster. As these thieves recently learned, dozing off mid-heist can turn you into a laughingstock. When we thought one snoozing burglar was dumb, another even crazier thief emerged. Our first sleepy offender is a 22-year-old in Thailand who broke into a home around 2 a.m., expecting to make off with valuables. But soon, the cool air conditioning and cozy bed proved irresistible. Succumbing to exhaustion, he fell into a deep slumber, only to awake to a shocked homeowner, who happened to be a police officer. This scenario is every thief's nightmare, being caught red-handed by a cop. The hapless criminal woke up dazed and confused in the officer's daughter's bedroom. His late-night nap attempt landed him promptly in handcuffs. As if his blunder wasn't silly enough, soon an even more absurd sleeping thief emerged in India. 21-year-old Babu staked out a petrol station owner's home, waiting to steal his cash savings. But after sneaking in, Babu also couldn't resist a quick power nap. He snoozed right under the owner's cot as the air conditioning made him sleep. The startled homeowner awoke to strange snores and quickly alerted the police, who found Babu still snoring away, probably dreaming of stolen luxuries. Both thieves made the ultimate burglary blunder, falling into such deep slumber that the very people they robbed caught them in the act. Perhaps stealing is tiring work, but sleeping logs mid-heist is a surefire way to get busted. A warm bed seems appealing after a long night of crime, but it can swiftly change any victory into humiliation. Our sleepy offenders gained only viral mockery and jail time for their moment of repose. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Shoplifting is one of the most common crimes, 
and it's often caught on security cameras. These misguided shoplifters think no one is watching, and they can sneak items into their clothes or bags without getting caught. Some even try to steal large items like TVs, only to end up getting arrested and becoming a laughingstock. Just look at the lady in this picture. She seems ready to slip whatever she can grab. Have you witnessed any hilarious failed shoplifting attempts? Share your funny stories in the comments below. Let's all get a chuckle at the expense of these foolish thieves. Number 5. Smartphone Thief Seeking the latest smartphone but lacking sufficient funds can spur some to pursue foolish paths. As one brazen shoplifter learned, trying to steal a display model comes with humiliating consequences. His harebrained heist was over before it started thanks to one tiny detail he overlooked. Surveillance footage shows this wannabe thief confidently striding into a phone retailer, eyeing the flashy demo phones. Convinced he spotted an easy score, he waited until staff were distracted before making his move. But when he hastily grabbed a phone and turned to run, he quickly realized his plan had a fatal flaw. The burly cords attaching display models to the table instantly activated. As he tried to flee, the retractable cable yanked the phone right from his hand, sending it crashing to the floor. Rather than a clean getaway, this hapless criminal found himself empty-handed, staring down at the shattered remains of his would-be prize. The store clerk looked on dumbfounded as the thief stood frozen in embarrassment. His brazen phone robbery was thwarted by nothing more than a short security leash. Caught red-handed and humiliated, the perpetrator had no choice but to shamefully exit while bystanders shook their heads. No retaliation or chase was needed. The anti-theft cord had already done its job perfectly. This comically failed heist proves that taking shortcuts seldom works when pursuing hot items honestly. Had this thief been patient and saved up, the latest phone could have been his lawfully. But irrational impulses led to public humiliation instead. So the next time coveted technology tempts your inner thief, remember this surveillance clip. Resist criminal urges and earn rewards properly. And never assume display items are easy pickings. Overlooking that vital tether can make you the laughingstock of the internet. Patience pays off, but crime rarely does. Number 4. Sausage Thief Late-night cravings can spur poor decisions, but not as bad as what happened with this guy. Fueled by hunger and intoxication, Ricardo Cardona set his sights on a local meat market to satisfy his needs. But his after-hours quest for snacks would end in legal trouble. Surveillance footage captured Cardona forcefully breaking into the store around 2 a.m., determined to grab some grub. He spent nearly 20 minutes trying to smash through the door before finally gaining entry. Once inside, Cardona beelined right for the sausages, but not just any links. He carefully perused the offerings before selecting the plumpest, juiciest sausages available. Finally locking in on his target, he snatched up the goods. At this point, having accomplished his mission, one would expect Cardona to swiftly exit the scene. But instead, in an unexpected move, he re-entered the store moments after leaving. Rather than fleeing into the night with his ill-gotten gains, Cardona made himself comfortable right in the office. Putting his feet up and settling in, he decided to take advantage of the quiet space for a nap. Employees arriving the next morning were shocked to find a slumbering Cardona snoozing away at the desk amidst the aftermath of his break-in. He was still clutching the stolen sausages as he was jolted awake and arrested. In the end, Cardona traded a short-lived sausage heist and impromptu nap for serious legal consequences. He faces charges of criminal trespassing and damage to property. The moral of the story? Late-night cravings can tempt even the best of us to make poor choices. But opt for the convenience store, pizza delivery, or 24-hour diner instead of breaking and entering. And never overstay your welcome or make yourself too comfortable at the scene of a crime. Cardona chose comfort over common sense, much to his dismay. Number 3. The Dress Thief For shopaholics, patience may not be a virtue when the urge strikes for retail therapy. But as one Tennessee woman discovered, giving in to temptation can lead to public shaming and legal woes. 27-year-old Danielle Saxton had her eye on revamping her wardrobe but lacked the funds. Rather than budgeting and saving, she opted for five-finger discounts at a local boutique. Saxton brazenly stole numerous items, thinking she pulled off the perfect crime. 
Among the stolen goods was one particularly distinctive dress, a fluorescent leopard print that would prove to be her undoing. Incriminating evidence in hand, she proudly posted the pictures online to show off her shopping success. But Saxton failed to realize that flaunting stolen items publicly tends to attract unwanted attention, as the boutique posted pictures of the stolen dress, too, asking for help. It wasn't long before eagle-eyed Facebook users spotted the unique leopard dress from photos posted by the robbed boutique pleading for information. The connection was made. Saxton's social oversharing directly tied her to the crime. Turns out that openly showcasing criminality on social media makes capturing culprits child's play for authorities. Saxton's love of sharing led to her rapid exposure. Thanks to amateur online sleuths, police swiftly apprehended the shoplifter. Remember, patience and honesty pay off more than rushing into the theft. Saxton is learning that lesson the hard way with a damaged reputation and criminal charges. She traded short-term gratification for long-term misery via an impulsive decision fueled by social media vanity. At least she'll have a memorable mugshot to pair with the unflattering orange jail jumpsuit that awaits shoplifters. Number 2. YouTuber Heist If watching heist films like Inside Man makes robberies and getaways look effortless, then get ready for a reality check. As one 19-year-old woman from Nebraska learned the hard way, laying low after a successful bank heist is no slick operation. Boldly strolling into a local bank, this amateur robber managed to flee the scene with $6,000 in cold, hard cash. Successfully evading capture, you'd think she'd lay low and enjoy her spoils. But flush with pride, she inexplicably felt compelled to document the entire ordeal in a shocking YouTube video. Channeling her inner artist, this brazen bandit crafted crude signs detailing each step of her crime. Brandishing her ill-gotten cash and stolen car keys, she gleefully reenacted the heist with artistic flair. Fanning the money like a Hollywood starlet, she proudly proclaimed it the best day of her life. Uploading this misguided magnum opus to YouTube was the criminal cherry on top, seemingly oblivious to how it implicated her. Perhaps expecting praise for her creative endeavor, she instead earned well-deserved condemnation. Nebraska police were quick to act on this video evidence gift wrapped for them. Identifying the perpetrator as Hannah Sabata, she was apprehended in short order thanks to her own foolish video. Rather than relishing in her daring bank theft, Sabata now spends 10 to 20 years imprisoned for it. All for foolishly desiring her moment in the YouTube spotlight, she exchanged freedom for infamy. A high cost just for some clicks and views. So for any would-be bank robbers watching slick heist films, don't let yourself be misled. Sabata proves real crime is no game, no matter how creatively documented. Flashy Hollywood heists make it look easy, but for attention-seeking amateurs like Sabata, their arrogance is often their downfall when fiction meets reality. Number 1. Stuck by lock. Using locks is always a wise habit, even if skilled thieves can break them. Locks provide that extra layer of security that can foil plans, as one hapless criminal recently discovered. This bungling burglar thought he had it all figured out. He would break while the owner was away. But in his zeal, he failed to notice the property owner watching him from a window. The owner watched amused as the crook struggled with the lock, completely oblivious to his presence. Finally, the lock began to give way and our criminal believed victory was at hand. But his triumph quickly turned to dismay when he looked up and saw a magnetic lock button right in plain view. Realizing his failure, the shocked burglar desperately tried to play it cool, acting like he belonged there all along. But his flimsy act convinced no one. He sheepishly withdrew, the botched break-in now etched forever in the property owner's memory. While experienced burglars can certainly bypass locks, this hapless fellow proves they still serve a valuable purpose. Locks buy time, create obstacles, and force criminals to expose themselves for longer periods. Even if picked, locks can lead to unexpected surprises for the unprepared. Our bungling burglar learned this lesson the hard way. Locks provide inexpensive protection we should never overlook. Simply having them in place increases vigilance among law-abiding people. And for crooks like our embarrassed friend here, they can turn confidence into confusion in an instant. 
he won't soon forget the folly of underestimating the power of a simple lock. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.